friends. We're getting ready to do a Facebook field trip soon, but I would love to see some of you um, chiming in, saying you can hear us, saying that the microphones sound good. There are some of our viewers. Thanks so much for being here, guys. Start to give me a few thumbs up if you can hear uh, Lauren. Why don't you talk Hello. for a minute? Hello. Let me know if you can kind of hear both microphones, and we're going to be doing more with Animal Art Week this week for your Radio Facebook down. field trips. Radio off. So we're going to be doing a little bit of painting. I just want to get a few of you. Oh, good. Jeff sends. We sound great. Thanks, hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Rena can hear us. Awesome. Thank you guys for tuning in. Got some good thumbs up going on. It's a beautiful day here today. So sad. Good. Everybody can hear. You guys, you're in for a real treat today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Erica from the marketing department. You guys, these types of weather days make me so sad that you're not up here at the zoo with me because this is zoo weather. And this is normally, of course, when we would be kicking off our great big season. We would have all sorts of elementary school kids here on field trips. A lot of you would be coming up on the weekend. And so we really need your help right now while we're closed. You could go to hogelzoo.org. You can help support your zoo, and there's a lot of ways to do that. You could just do a straight across donation. You can buy tickets that you'll use later in the year. You can upgrade your membership. There's lots of ways. But one of the really fun ways you can support your zoo is by buying animal artwork. So this whole week of Facebook Field Trips is dedicated to showing you how we get our animals to participate in... Um, Oh, sorry, Lena said she didn't have audio, but that's okay. That's okay. Everybody else can hear. Ashley, thank you so much for donating. We do have a donate button right here on Facebook page. You could also go to hogelzoo.org. If you missed yesterday's Facebook field trip, we showed you how we get our seals and sea lions to participate. Devin, Kira, thank you for those donations. And today we're going to show you how we get the elephants to participate. So let me go ahead and introduce our zany crew to you for the day. You guys know this gal, that's Lauren. She is one of our elephant keepers down here. Natalie back there, she's gonna be working hard for us. Allie, we met Allie yesterday. She helped us do our pinniped paintings. And, and then way up. off in the distance, that's Megan. Give us a hello. <laughs> she's working with Zuri over there. So Lauren, let's kind of turn it over to you. Now, a lot of folks have seen this maybe at Zoo Brew and yeah. different things, but kind of walk us through what we're about to see today. Sure, so um, we're gonna do a few different things for you. We're gonna kind of show you how our elephants paint. So over here, what we'll start with is gonna be how we have a paintbrush. So we actually, similar to the sea lions as well too, we use a hose and then we put the paintbrushes in it and then basically that's a really easy way for them to grab it. So we'll kind of show that in a second. Just a lot of you who come to so our demos. So this is a regular garden hose yep. that you just punctured holes in. Yep, and put okay. the paintbrush in. So that way it's nice and soft for them. Um, and this, a lot of you that come to demos probably see them paint canvases. So that's what you would have seen. Um, another really cool thing we're gonna do over here is wine glasses. So oh. those of you that are our Zoo Brew Can attendants. Can I show this in the sunlight? Yeah, of course. We just painted that this morning, so. Look at that beautiful blue. Yeah, and we did a green one and a black one. Okay, now the most asked question is, will you be able to buy these pieces? Absolutely, I'm glad you asked. Hogelzoo.org, click on shop online. These things will be available as well as other animal art. Yeah, okay. we can talk about the other animal art in a second. So how we do this is we use a PVC pipe, which is pretty cool. And we actually stick it into their trunk and then we have the paint in there and then they blow. So it makes kind of a spray paint. So you just kind of stick some paint in there. Yep. Okay. Um, some zoos will actually just put the paint right in their trunk. Um, we just like to have it a little bit, right. otherwise it would go everywhere. Right. So we like to have it a little bit more um, centered, if you will. So um, we can show the paint strokes first and then- Yeah, let's um, do that. So yeah, if you wanna come over here um, So this is just Natalie. a practice. You're gonna yeah. kinda show us on this plexiglass. This is fun because it gives us a chance to see both the gorgeous elephant. This is beautiful Christy. Christy's a very experienced so artist. here behind the plexiglass. Do you want me to get Whoa. down low? Good, yeah, there you go. good girl, study. Great. Mary, Great. thank you for your donation. Uh-oh, Natalie, go. she got you. Yeah, there you go. Now, is this hard for her because she can't really see the yeah, canvas? Yeah, and it's she usually does canvases. Actually, that actually was okay, pretty good. We can do that one more time. I mean, that's interesting because it's like she can't see where the... Yeah, so she's kind of just painting painting a little blindly, but at least it, if we thought it'd be a cool way to kind of show them doing the, the brush stroke. Now, I do, for those of you that can kind of hear her little gurgle, that's kind of her happy sound, almost like when a cat purrs. Yeah. So okay. keep your eyes, or keep your ears closer. out for that. Let's get it a little closer. And then lift it up a little bit. Yeah, it might be a little easier. Okay. Good girl, Chris. Yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> She's, She's like, like well, there we go. Oh, You're a good girl. 
So again, normally this would be done on an actual canvas. <laughs> we just thought it would be fun for you to see that. Yeah. Um, answer for when we'll open. Boy, we don't know. Okay. As soon as we get the go ahead from the governor's office and the health department, we will be open. We will have some modifications. We'll have to keep our indoor places closed and we'll do different things like that. But we're so anxious to get you guys back here. How old are they? Christy's 38, right? She is 34. Oh, 34. Oh, sorry, Christy. It's okay. I totally aged you her. Aged years. her a little bit. Yeah, and, and Zuri is 10. And so Nash and Presley want to know how to get a rhino butt painting. Yes, go to hogelzoo.org, guys, and um, click the okay. shop online. I'm so, standing out because I'm yeah, in the spray zone. I know. So this paint now. Um, Lauren, this is non-toxic paint, right? It is, yeah. Let me, I'll swap sides Is this the Allie best side for me to be on, or should I be on that side? You can come on this side, it's fine. Okay. That way I can talk to you over here. I want to just have the best. So, Allie's just going to get some snot out of her truck. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Thanks, <laughs> since we're going to drink out of these. It makes it, uh, it makes it part of the like, experience. Back up a little bit. Yeah. Whoa, that was <laughs> fast! Oh my gosh, let me look at that. <laughs> can I look at that? Oh, they did that so fast. I hope you guys saw that. We're going to do um, another one. Did I get covered? Yeah, no, I did okay. Here. Yeah. Let's try another one. <laughs> do they like painting, Danielle? Yes, they do. You can hear her gurgling. They also get, they like their time with their keepers. They also get lots of good right treats. Good. Okay. Good girl, steady. There's the wine glass, so a very guys. Or Chris is a very enthusiastic painter. There we go. That one's better. Right. So what we'll Did do is we'll add another too? color Can she do, to that? oh, you're going to add a second yeah. color? Okay. Um, so a lot of these are cool because it basically depends on how hard they're blowing. So each one actually looks pretty unique. Um, I just put it in that one. Oh, okay. um, so yeah, we can show the paint as well. So it's just a non-toxic. We use an enamel, which actually is for glass. So those of you that do purchase these, you can use them. Just hand wash them. I've had mine for many years. And, the and they still have up. paint yep. on them. Mm -hmm. So no dishwasher. No dishwasher. I mean, I haven't tried it, but let's not. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. There you go. Yeah. We're downwind from all ya. <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. All right, you guys, these are available. Natalie, how'd you do? Let's see if you came out unscathed. Yeah, you get a little. A little bit on her arm, a little bit on the other arm. Yeah. So she's a work of art as yeah. well. <laughs> so these glasses will also be available at our website, hogelzoo.org. Click on shop online. And you can get um, some of these gorgeous works of art from elephants and some of our other animals as well. This whole week is dedicated to animal art so that you can see. So do we have, um, we're going to go do kiss prints oh yeah, now. Let's want, oh, kiss prints. Hey, say goodbye to these guys. Hey, thanks guys. So elephants, they've been doing art for a long time. So there's lots of different kinds of art that they, you guys work with them. And yeah, we try to do, um, a lot of different things and it's part of their enrichment. So, you know, they have the option to participate, not participate. It's really fun for them. It's easy, easy money we say. So it's, easy reinforcement they enjoy it they get to hang out with their keepers they it's, love keeper time too yeah so here's megan and working with zuri so zuri's uh 10 years old she's about 5500 yeah. pounds now so she's getting quite big she's those of you big. when you she's do tall. come back so no, here's right kind of we did there. what we're going to be doing is um some kiss prints so we did these yesterday they were really cool oh i love the multicolored. Yeah. so we just paint. so that's their trunk Yep, that's the end of their trunk, and they basically just paint it. Christy does it as well, too. Zuri's just really cute because she's got a little tiny trunk right now. <laughs> um, so these will be for sale as well, too, and we kind of wrote on the back, kissed by Zuri, and we'll have a little picture of her Yeah, as well you too. always get the work of art, and you get it signed by the yeah. keeper, and then a picture of the animal as well, which I think is a really great keepsake. Yeah. So this tends to be a little bit messier just because she, we, have, we are painting her actual trunk. Um, but we'll kind of get some colors. We're going to do some blue ones here. It's a very thick paint. All right. And no, it does not. It does not hurt them. You guys have to kind of shade my phone because I cracked it over the weekend. Oh, no. So the, the sunlight catches the cracks and I can't read the, the questions as well. Now, Lauren, have you noticed your animals reacting to you guys wearing masks at all lately? Um, or they, your they've keeper friends, been pretty they good. Noticed? The rhinos were a little weird with us. <laughs> They're poor rhinos. They just rhinos, they're just well. kind of sensitive and they yeah. can't see so well. Um, What's and the so, best angle yeah. for me? So they've been, they were a little bit, but everyone's pretty used to it now, which is nice. Okay. I would think um, some species might care more than others. Okay. So same thing. Megan's going to get some slime off of her. <laughs> okay. So we got to have her blow her nose. Yeah. Nobody wants a snotty kiss. 
Um, yes, Jeff, we have animal art going on all this week. So look at, let's watch this for a second. I'll yeah. Oh, she's going to yeah, She'll get me. a little bit. It's okay. Whee! Okay, let me it's get okay, a good yeah. view The here. other stuff is too thick. Okay, okay and then we're going to go... Look how cute that is! Yes. You can kind of, you guys, I'm going to be quiet this next time because you can kind of hear her suction. She's, she, and yeah, and she's doing a little baby gurgle as well, She kind too. of sucks in on that, um, on the canvas a little bit. What treats is she getting right now? Looks like produce. Yep, she's getting uh, pineapple, oranges, banana. All the good stuff. All the good stuff. Okay. And don't worry, <laughs> look at her cute little blue trunk. Megan, don't worry, she do you gets know a nice Mm -hmm. Oh, someone that's saying hi. <laughs> yeah, someone said, "Can Megan dance?" So I thought you had a friend <laughs> kind of calling you out, wanting you to dance. <laughs> okay, so she's really. Okay, we got to paint. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, we got the... Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, Megan, I think she thought Zuri's name was Megan. Oh. Then she asked if you liked peanuts. So I was like, well, someone's really interested in Megan here. All right, you guys, you can get Zuri Kiss Prints, Christy Kiss Prints. We have Mommy Daughter Duo Kiss yep. Prints. Hogelzoo.org. Click on Shop Online. Lots of elephant art. Do we have another kiss? Uh, we'll do one more, and then we'll okay. go hang out with some rhino friends. I want to just show you guys that yeah. again up close because the texture of it. Thick, but is really great you can see that she she's kind of like a van gogh she likes yeah. really heavy <laughs> heavy paint usage yeah we do some with christie's some of them you'll see um online will be of christie's trunk as well too Ooh, Ooh that one's oh it's got a little slobber Ooh, that one's perfect one. oh, it's kind of a multicolor. <laughs> that's perfect i want to see show us your trunk baby girl let's see yeah, Let's that's her how... lipstick. It's like when you lick the robin eggs yeah. at Easter time. And do the... ah! Yeah, watch out. You're she, in the spray did zone. She get me? You're good. She got me good, you guys. Zuri, Miss Zuri. She's 10 years old, believe it or not. She just turned 10 last August. Yeah. All right, we want to go down by our rhino friends. Let's go. Yeah, did I bring our. Oh, yeah, there we go, though. Bye, Zuri. Thank you. Zuri's going to go get a bath now that she's She needs paint. a bath. So do you guys take them in the barn then and spray them down? Um, we just take them. Uh, we have a hose in the back, and especially now that it's nice out, um, they you just you know, spray them off yeah, here. Yeah, we just spray them out of here. Because I know they do like a good hose down, and they also they like do. bubble baths. So I'll give you these while I set rhinos up oh, for you. Oh, great. So a lot of you probably saw one of our Facebook field trips, and this is going back a few weeks. We showed you how we get a rhino butt print, which is so fun. Now, our Facebook field trips live on Facebook for forever. This got our Georgian princess here. This is princess we're looking at. Yeah, so I'll get her moved down and then, yeah, Megan will feed George here. So you can you want me to come me. with you? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so Facebook field trips just stay on Facebook for forever. So if you missed one, you can scroll back through. We also have them on YouTube as well. The nice thing about YouTube is we're also working on adding closed captioning um, as well. So if you know somebody who might be hard of hearing, um, that might be a good option. They love animals and want to know more. Oh my goodness. So there's actually the good spot that we painted. Hi, pretty girl. So what I want to show, let's okay. see, I'm going to have you hold these. Because these are coasters you can get that's imprinted with gorgeous princesses mm -hmm. skin here. And so tell us kind of what you do because yeah. you can see the spot. Yep. Yeah, this is actually the ones that we just did. We actually have some on canvas that we did as well. The coasters are really cool. And okay, we, did, get on this we did seal these. Yeah, go for it. So um, we do it inside where we do the butt print just because we do have to give her a bath as well. But this um, skin on her neck is actually really cool. It's very different than the rest of her skin. So we, she's really great. She eats her breakfast and we paint this little spot. And then we do kind of like a stamp. And just kind of stamp yeah, it? Yeah, stamp it on there. So it's really soft. It's kind of a cool look. Um, she's really chill about it. She gets lots of food. And she gets lots of treats. Yep. So we have sets of four coasters that are also on the website. Yep. And then some. I did, we did some skin print on some journals. And then we did it on canvases as well, too. Okay, so if you want a rhino, so you can do rhino butt print. Yep. You can do rhino just skin print. Now, does George do the skin print, or is he uh, not he like does. that as much? No, he's got he's got a teal patch on his neck as so, well. <laughs> so when you guys come to the zoo and you often if are like, why do rhinos this? look teal? This is pretty much or if why. they have a blue yeah. bum. Yeah, a blue butt. There's a reason for that. Now we had a very in-depth conversation prior to going live on a rhino butt versus an elephant butt. 
Yes. You guys give did. me a thumbs up if you'd buy an elephant <laughs> butt print, because Lauren, Lauren wasn't so sure. <laughs> she thought the round, the rounder rhino yeah, rump it, would be it better. A nice, a nice <laughs> butt. Yes, we were talking about people buying elephant butt prints, and they just have more of a flat butt, in my see, opinion. See, this one's nice yeah. and round. Yeah. You see that? <laughs> if you have never seen our rhino butt prints, go check those out at hogelzoo.org as well. Find that little shop online. You guys, it's a great way to just donate to your zoo right now. We're closed. It costs anywhere between forty to forty-five thousand dollars a day to run the zoo, whether we're open or not, because our costs stay steady. Because we have all these animals that we need to really make sure are getting great. Yeah, so some of them are George. You can see George's cute little spot. Oh yeah, too. Georgie. Let's look at Georgie's little spot. So we would love your support right now. There's a yeah. There's his spot. <laughs> oh, I love it. So we'd love your support right now, whether you donate here on. See, Robbie says he wants to see the entire butt series. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, you'll get <laughs> so to you guys, we need see canvases. A warthog, warthog butt soon. <laughs> <laughs> we need canvases of all sizes. Yes. But yeah, we'd love for you to donate to the zoo either right here on Facebook. You can also go to hogelzoo.org. There's lots of ways. Does anybody have any great rhino or elephant questions? Because I've got the experts. See, people are people are wanting the butt prints. So you guys might have to work. Oh, see, she's chuckling now. They have to train them how to do it. Have we just need a very large, can we already needed a large canvas for a rhino butt, now we need an extra large How much large bigger one. do you think it'd be? How much bigger is the elephant butt from a rhino butt? Well, rhinos have like a really wide butt. I mean, elephants do too, but it'll be very long. So logistically, we'll just have to see. And then now when you see Zuri with a pink butt, then you'll understand why now. <laughs> She's like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Now, how much do the rhinos weigh? Uh, they're about 4,200, 4, between 4,000 and 4,200 pounds, which is pretty standard. These guys are older. They're geriatric rhinos. Now, do we do any other prints? Frank we, and Bill were, were wondering, and uh, I don't know so that we do any other prints. You'll see on the website, um, one of our keepers, Lisa, who's really great, has been working on footprints with these guys. So she, um, we have, I think, four or five, and they are very one of a kind. Like, she only did five of them. So those will be oh, for sale on the website. Cool. They're really cool. That yeah. has cool feet, they, too. they have, like, a clover foot, um, which have is pretty like, cool. All right. All right. So you'll see those for sale um, on the website, and those are those definitely are exclusive because we haven't done this now, kind of come, a style thing. How, and just to see how they handled it, or did they not? Yeah, it, it just it, a lot of it too. It, unlike you know, it's kind of placing a canvas and making sure they're not scared of it and having them oh. move up. So Lisa was kind of working on moving them back and forth, which was really cool. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll have more in the future, especially one of our zippers is for rhinos if we still have that going on. And so we would love to sell those there. Absolutely. Now, um, someone's question, their skin looks so rough. Do you guys have to treat it with anything? We don't. Um, you know, Megan and I were just saying, George, George had pretty dry skin. Usually in the wintertime we oil them. So we have like rhino spa day. Oh, um, yeah. And we use mineral oil. We just can't now because then we would cook them like little turkeys out here. In oh, the that'd sun. be so, <laughs> so They also um, like to mud. roll in the yeah, mud and we stuff. Yeah, we mud. We have a nice mud wall in the back that they were in yesterday. So that keeps their skin nice. They're just, they're made to have kind of dry, crusty skin to live on the savanna. Helps kind of natural sunscreen. Yeah, natural sunscreen. Um, you guys, yes, the, the flipper prints are on the website. Uh, let's go back to look at the artwork for a second. Yeah. Um, all of the art that you saw yesterday is at the website, hogelzoo.org. Now, it may have already sold because those were pretty popular. We saw Diego and Maverick and Mira, the harbor seal. And each day this week, we're going to be highlighting different animal art. And the goal is for you to have something awesome, a one-of-a-kind masterpiece. And then it also helps the zoo as they say, during this difficult time. Here we go, you guys. Here's your masterpieces today. These are Zuri kiss prints. You will get a Zuri kiss print. You will also get a picture of Zuri on the back. It'll be signed by her keepers. These are Zuri, too? Yep. I love that one. Yeah, the multicolor one turns out really cute. So you can get these. And then, again, we have the wine glasses. Yeah, oh, here's here our coasters. coasters. That's... um. Princess's skin. It is. I love that color combination too. Yes. It's very summery. Oh, now we're in the shade. That's you know? <laughs> yeah, I can see my, my phone gets so dusty and fingerprinty that <laughs> out in the sun. How long did it teach you to train the girls how to paint? And does Zuri do the same kind of painting that Christy she does? She does paint. Um, she's a very enthusiastic painter, so she <laughs> tends to paint very up and down. I think it's okay. actually really cool. Their paintings look very different. So Christy, when she holds, like you saw before, she kind of goes um, side to side where Zuri's very like strategically okay. up and down. That's interesting um, because Michelle said that about um, the Harbor Seals as well, or Diego really, versus that they Mira, really yeah, different. that they have kind yeah, of so different Yeah, so from a trainer's perspective, we basically just train them to hold the paintbrush and then they kind of can form their own style, if that makes sense, so. 
So here's your gorgeous stemless wine glasses. You have, and then you said you had some others that. Yeah, we did a whole well. bunch this morning, so we'll have um, a lot of different. We've done um, stemless and stemmed ones, and we did, usually did them in pairs, so there's different colors. Okay, now I do need to say, if you are interested in wine glasses, these are pickup option only. So if you're one of our great um, fans from out of state, we can't ship these. Poor Andrew, our, our coworker yeah. who's doing all the shipping, he's loving it because we have people buying these from all over, which is so great, but we can't ship the wine glasses. So just keep that in mind. All right, we'll say thank you to Megan and Allie and Miss Lauren. You guys, please think, Natalie's off in the distance, yeah. but we thank Natalie too. You guys, please think about supporting your zoo if you can right now. I know it's just kind of a tricky time for everyone, but if you're able, you could go to hogelzoo.org. There's, a, I know I get scolded when my mask falls down, but you guys, there's so much going on out here. Everyone's like, fix your mask, but it's tied up under my hat. Look, I'll step away from my colleagues for a minute. Okay, I'm clear over here. All right, you guys, consider donating to the zoo, hogelzoo.org. You can just do a straight across donation. Alex, thank you so much. You can also buy some of this amazing animal art. This whole week is dedicated to animal art. So yesterday we saw the pinnipeds, we saw our seals and sea lions. Today was elephants, tomorrow you guys, grizzly bears. How on earth do you think you get a grizzly bear to paint? We're going to find out tomorrow. Tiffany, thank you, you rock too. You guys, I'm so glad that you're here today. Thank you for your donations. Don't forget, hop over to hogelzoo.org. Thanks for joining us on a field trip. We'll see you tomorrow at 1130. Thanks guys.